pitches, we're going to bring in Morgan and Malia. Hello, I'm Morgan. And I'm Malia. And the genre of our film is horror. The log, <laughs> the log line of our film is about a girl named Sophie. And she f finds on the internet that if you steal something from the dead, the dead is going to want it back. So she decides that she's going to take something from the dead. And she takes it, and something follows her back home. OK. <clears throat> So our characters are Sophie and her friend, and Sophie um, is kind of like the, I guess you'd call it like, like tough, you know, like uh, go get him, have a girl, like, like nothing scares her. And so, so they're looking up ghost stories on the internet, and they find a legend of, if you steal a belonging or something to a dead, from a, a dead person, that um, they'll come after you and come back and try to get it. And her friend challenges her, to do that, and she's like, "Oh, nothing's gonna happen," and so they go to a, they go to a gravesite and they find a hat or something, and she br and she brings it home. And on the way home, she like she starts seeing like weird things, like sees a person with it, wearing the same hat walking like down the sidewalk, and she's like, "Oh, it's nothing. That's just a coincidence." And so they go back. She goes back to her house. Her friend goes back to her house, and Sophie's making a sandwich, and Weird stuff starts to happen, like um, like a picture falls to the ground. Uh, she sees a, a shadow of of the person with the hat outside um, through the curtains, and other weird things. And she starts getting kind of freaked out, like, like this is this is really weird, you, you know. I'm gonna go. I'm thinking I'm gonna go back to the cemetery and take this this hat this hat back and place it back where it was. And so she goes back to the cemetery, and she thinks she sees the person again walking outside on the sidewalk. And she goes, and she, and she finally makes it to the cemetery, and she sees the person with the hat sitting next to the, to the, to the tombstone. And she's freaking out, like, okay, this is the person, they're gonna come and get me, I'm so dead. And so, but then the then person slowly turns his head, and she realizes that he is mourning for the person that's dead. And then she realizes that this whole thing has been her paranoia. And so, and so she, so she, she, he puts the hat down and he leaves and then she, then she walks over there and puts her, puts the hat down she took and leaves and the story ends. And so, oh, you ready that part? You see one reason. One of the reasons why our, um, our storyline is solid is because we're ready, like, we know what it's about. It has a good, solid base. We know how we want it and how the story should go. And uh, one reason why our concept is ready to go in production, I think, is because we've got some um, ideas for people who are going to act uh, for, the, for the characters. And it's not very big um, in places, that things that we need to put together, as in props. So. We figure that it'd be easy to do. Okay. Should we hear some feedback from our judges? Okay. Um, so I, the horror theme again. I think that was really interesting as far as um, the storyline goes. I was particularly um, interested in when you mentioned about paranoia. That it sounded as though if I understand correctly that there was a sense of here was a reality these two characters are in mm -hmm. and then it becomes that person's internal yeah. sort of reality. Yes. So it's in that regard it seems a little bit complex yeah. so I, I'm curious then around how will you clearly tell that story given there's no dialogue and through just visual image and in three minutes. Yeah. So I'm a little challenged by that complexity. Um, I, but I'm um, intrigued by that twist within the story. Okay. Uh, well, I, I think it's, it's good that you guys have the, the horror idea again. Um, I kind of like that. Uh, horror is a good thing to be able to do. The, uh, to me, it, it doesn't really actually feel like you guys are ready to go into production with mm -hmm. it. Um, one thing about pitching a movie or pitching any idea is that 
the most important person to believe in that is you first off. And when you started to describe a lot of things, it was kind of, well, there's a thing and it might be like a hat or something and it could be this stuff. And then we have this whole middle section. Mm. And then and then by the end of your pitch, the movie had actually changed from being a horror movie to something that's more kind of a psychological yeah. thing. So it, it feels like you don't really know. And, and especially when you don't even know what your MacGuffin is. So your hat is this MacGuffin. It's this thing that is mm. that we're following as a track through the movie. And in the beginning, you didn't really know what it was. It could be any of these things. And then it was a hat. And then this hat, well, what does the hat represent? Your MacGuffin has to represent something specific. Mm. And you've got to be able to show that, too. So uh, I, it feels like you guys have thought up a middle section of antics that would happen with a scared person without thinking about the beginning and the end okay. and making those connect. Okay. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's a lot to try and pack into three minutes. Um, I think in there there's the essence of something that's uh, probably very clever and I would pick up on everything that they've both said and the fact that when you start to convey paranoia, how are you going to convey the legend silently? I, th I, th yeah. I think there's an awful lot of work in there that I don't think it's insurmountable, but I think you really have to think carefully about how you do it. Um, one thing you could do is you could in some ways do the reverse, go really old school and practically reveal it up front as to what the solution is and then do a bookend and just close it out that way. Because otherwise I think you're possibly going to be getting a little paranoid yourself about getting it done on time, to be honest. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, thank you judges for your inputs and thank you Morgan and Malia. We do like our horror. So we're going to move on to our next ones. <laughs> 